I selected few pieces what I, with little help from my friends, translated into English. You hear my English now. But I hope that I can read for you so clearly that you will understand a little more my thoughts or ideas. Looking for a place. When I woke up suddenly from the dream, she didn't want to believe that behind the door a shot was fired. Tumult and blood on the stairs, shouting and blasts of siren, returned us at least to feeling our American reality. I dreamt of myself, a boy, in a second half of 20th century school, where I was taught to fill the pages with respect for pages already full of proud science and arts. Now I am here and there, seduced as happens by the theme of the dream, lying a while with open eyes, separated from the tumult behind the window, there enthusiast of recordings and forms, here with difficulty a meter of words, hung above the ocean of homeless consciousness, wandering among echoes of meanings as in a kaleidoscope, mutineer subjected to rules of a leaf on a water and metal glass sheet, with a grimace in absence of social recipes, fascinated that here is a time passing by, with steadfast gaze at the traces of existences helpful to inhabit a place where the only way is the creation of anti-place, still looking for the place. In an epoch of postmodern forms, grateful and choked by these palaces of wisdom, you can ask me where you where are you coming from with a feeling of underground worlds when deeper there is only another side of the same planet and throne of the resurrected among the stars driven over by spaceships. Alone, like you and she, lying near as my hand with moist skin from the heat, observer of the transformations in a stone labyrinth of Moloch, born there, I'm skeptically looking at the twilight of the totalitarianism in my motherland. And I don't know anymore from where I am, eaten by a worm of nothingness, with longing for the gardens and mountains of childhood, when the shape and color promised the climax. What I felt later in a few pictures, in a harmony of sounds, in a few words, what would I like here to express isn't absolutely clear to me, in the desire that the speech be like an incantation that hostile powers turn into everything needed for our true nature, and not only just into little more than nothing th that takes part in our fates, like childish sun castle at the hour when the tide comes in, like rituals of Indians practiced face to face against the invader, fades. The feeling of a wandering child with the consciousness of the, an old man and with eyes constantly opening wider and wider. Transitions of thoughts sometimes like an absurd stream of associations moving somewhere. And yet, submission to this movement opens the underground of imagination and the important trends become visible. Something which constantly vanishes at the border of thought and vision, which leaves us a bit lonely in a quest and the inability of naming. It creates its own time of our internal conversation time question or life question answer, something absolutely new. Now when the vision of the earthly ghetto suggests itself, where building beside building, trade and copulation on a modern desert of mist stones of culture, glass and paint. In a town of bells inhabited by time, I toss in a spider's web of shadows Looking for the place, I can see how different depths shine differently. In a totally conventional reality, I try to keep my diamond of life.